Hello and welcome to the Tech Blackboard. Well, today I'm launching a new series on DP900. In this series, I will give you all the information that you will ever need to clear the examination. For those who are new to the Microsoft certification, DP900 is Microsoft certification for Azure Data Fundamentals. So friends, this will be a multi-part series. So let's start our first episode and look at the agenda that will be covered in this DP900 series. In this DP900 series, we will be first covering what is DP900, along with what we will also understand who should do it and why you should do DP900. After understanding what, why and who should do DP900, the next topic we will cover is the syllabus of DP900. We will have a detailed look around the syllabus and we will see all the topics that you can expect or you need to prepare in order to clear the examination DP900. Once you understand the syllabus, then I will show you the process of scheduling the exam. I will also give you details on how you can get free Microsoft voucher to clear DP900. Guys, do not skip it so that you don't miss any detail on securing a free Microsoft voucher for DP900. Not only DP900, I will give you the detail so you can secure a free Microsoft voucher for the other fundamental exam like AZ900 and AI900. Next on the agenda is exam format. This will also cover how many questions to expect in the examination and what will be the time duration given to clear the examination. The next topic we will cover is question pattern. This section will introduce you to the different kind of question format that you can expect in DP900. This is very important section and please do not skip this section because the format of the question that we will cover in this section not only relates to DP900 but also to AZ900 and AI900. And finally, the most exciting section of this series, the real exam questions. Yes, truly, in this part, I will give you a pool of questions and answer with proper explanation that will increase your chance to clear the exam. Friends, I have just cleared the exam. So I will give you latest set of questions and answers covering which will give you a very solid foundation on this certification. These are all the topics that we will be covering during this series. However, it's very important for you to understand what are your takeaways from this series. Post attending this series, you will be having a solid understanding of DP900 certifications and also decide whether it is for you or not. You will understand the scheduling process and you will also see the process to earn a free Microsoft Azure certification voucher. Besides that, you will have an in-depth understanding of the syllabus for DB900. Not only that, you will also understand what kind of questions come in the exam, but also to understand the time limitation of the examination. Then we will also look at the real exam question. This will give you immense confidence in yourself to clear the examination. So let's start the series. Let's understand what is DP900. DP900 is a Microsoft Azure Data Fundamental exam and you can consider it as a stepping stone for Azure data related concept. After giving this exam, you will be able to understand core data concepts and their implementation in Azure. You will be able to understand batch data and streaming data. Next, DP900 talks about relational DB like Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Managed Instance, etc. It then covers non-relational database like Azure Cosmos DB. It also talks about Azure Table Storage, Blob Storage and File Storage. DP900 will also cover data workloads such as transactional or analytical. Here it explains about OLTP and OLAP systems. Now let's understand who should do DP900. Well, let's just admit that data is everywhere. Whether you are just building your hobby website to a big global scale website, whether you are building a gaming app or you are building an e-commerce solution, data is everywhere and it comes in all sizes and shapes. From structured data in a tabular format to semi-structured like files, JSON format and many others. Then we also have complex data structures like sound files or video files. So to answer who should do DP900, I can only say everyone who deals with data. 
Now let's try to figure out why to do DP900. To start with, I can say because we love data. As I mentioned before, data is pervasive. Data literally surrounds us. In addition to this, DP900 helps you prepare for other Azure role-based certification like Azure Database Administrator Associate or Azure Data Engineer Associate. Now that you understand what, who and why, let's take a dig on Slippers. The syllabus section will take you through all the topics that you need to prepare in order to clear the examination. The first area you need to prepare on for DP900 is Describe Core Data Concept. This area has a weightage of 15 to 20%. This area is further divided into two major subsections, namely Describe Types of Core Data Workloads and Describe Data Analytics Core Concepts. Each subsection is divided into different subheadings. Please do not bother about noting down all these details shown in the video. I will be giving all the important links from Microsoft sites from where you can note all these details whenever the time suits you. Friends, please do encourage my efforts by subscribing to my channel. If you have already done, thank you for that. The next area is how to work with relational data on Azure. This area has a total weightage of 25 to 30%. So you can see this area has more weightage than the earlier area of data concepts. This section is further divided into four sections. Let's have a look on each one of them. The first section is describe relational data workloads. The second one is identify basic management tasks for relational data. The third one is relational Azure data services. And the fourth one is describe query techniques of data using SQL languages. You should build a strong understanding on relational databases and how the information is stored in the form of tables. Then there will be questions around views and index. For example, you may get questions on what are the uses of views and index in a relational database. Expect fair amount of questions from PaaS, IAS and SaaS solutions. You will also get questions where you would need to identify SQL commands belonging to DDL and DML. But you need not to worry, I have got you covered. When we reach the real exam question section, I will show you a lot of examples of all these type of questions with proper answers and explanations. The third major part is non-relational data on Azure. This part also consists of 25 to 30% of total weightage. This part is further divided into three subsections. They are non-relational data workloads, then non-relational data offerings on Azure, identify basic management tasks for non-relational data. The key subsections in this area are, describe the characteristics of non-relational data. You must understand what are the different types of non-relational and NoSQL data. Then the other key interesting areas are, Azure table storage, blob storage, and file storage. The other interesting subsections are deployment, including Azure Portal, Azure Resource Manager Template, better known as ARN Templates, Azure PowerShell, Azure Command Line or CLI Interface. You should also have good understanding on firewall authentication and encryption. Another important section from this area is identity management tools for non-relational data. Let's jump on to the next section. The fourth area is describe an analytics workload on Azure. This area is also 25 to 30% of the total weightage. We have four subsections in this area. They are describe analytics workload, describe the components of a modern data warehouse, describe the data ingestion and processing on Azure, describe data visualization in Microsoft Power BI. Important subsections are describe transactional workload, describe the difference between transactional and analytic workload, describe the difference between batch and real time, describe data warehousing workloads. 
Describe modern data warehousing architecture and workload as your data factory. Normally, you don't get many questions from Microsoft Power BI. At the max, one or two questions from this section. Now, let me take you to the Microsoft Learn website where you can find loads of useful information related to DP900. Open Google and search for DP900. The first website is Microsoft Learn. On the very top, it says that the contents of this exam was updated on October 25, 2021. Very recent, you see. It also gives you information that the minimum passing marks is 700. Scroll down a little and here you can see how to schedule your exam. We will see more details on how to schedule your exam in our upcoming video, where I'll also tell you how you can secure a free Microsoft coupon for DP900. Now you will see a very important link which says download exam skill outline. Click on this one. Now here you will see the entire PDF which is always updated by Microsoft with the latest course content. Scroll down a little And starting from here, where you can see this heading that the changes below are implemented from October 25th, 2021. These are the latest changes that Microsoft has incorporated in DP900 examination. All the changes are marked with red font. Please go through this PDF entirely before you attempt any examination for Microsoft. Coming back to the Microsoft Learn website, scroll down a little and you will be introduced to a section which says Learning Path. This section is beautifully designed Microsoft course that will take you through the length and breadth of DP900. I strongly recommend you to go through each section of this course to build a very strong understanding on data concepts. Well, this brings us to the end of the first episode of DP900 series. Let's summarize what we learned in this episode. First, we'll look around what is DP900, who should do it and why you should do it. Then we understood the syllabus for DP900. I also took you through the DP900 Microsoft Learn website in order to give you more insights about the course content of DP900. In the upcoming episode 2, we will see how to schedule DP900 and how to earn a free voucher for DP900. We will then cover exam format and duration of the exam. Post that, we will see around what are the different question patterns and formats that you can expect in DP900. Till we meet again in our next episode, don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon and share this video as much as you can. Your comments are very valuable, so do share your comments. Till then, stay fit and keep learning.